What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nora Trades and today I bring you another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch List where I talk about all the plays I like, all the plays I don't like, everything that's going on in the earnings world even though we're coming to an ending on it, the schedule, who's speaking, whether the Fed is speaking, whether we have GDP reporting this week, all that good stuff and I give you the insight on how I feel about the market this week, whether we're going to see some chop, uh, some aggression to the upside or you know if we're looking bearish but we haven't said the word bearish in a, a very long time since the pandemic. But uh, before we go ahead and start the video, like I said, I promise you guys they vlog. If you guys got 200 likes tomorrow, guess what you're getting? The vlog. I keep my word. Uh, so tomorrow, I will be dropping it around 3 p.m. Eastern time. Hit that alert button. This might be one of my funniest and, and coolest vlogs. I do so many things. And then once I drop this one, I have an L.A. vlog that I went on a 10-day trip to movie you know what i mean i, I let you guys uh into my personal life uh a little bit more there so do not miss that video uh hit that like button right now i'm gonna wait for you guys to do that ready three two one uh subscribe alert button like i said comment down uh below what other videos you'd like to see on this channel comment down what other stocks i'm missing uh you know i have my stocks or my uh watch list that i like rotating in and out and you know one of the stocks that you guys might name might end up in my watch list from now on. You never know. And I, I've added a few uh, from the comments. So it's always great to see. So let's go ahead and start this video uh, where we always start with the schedule here. So as you guys can see, I always post it here. If it's a little blurry, always just go to my uh, Instagram. I only have three Instagrams, Nor Trades, Trade Like Nor, and Stock Hours. Trade Like Nor is where you guys get all the trading, just strictly trading uh, information. This will be on there. It'll be a clear picture screenshot that you always want to know who's talking. You might not want to trade during a few different events. So that's why I provide this. So you guys have a few things here. Uh, Thursday, you know, the jobless claims thing that we always get. Uh, you know, Fed balance sheet on Thursday. You know, uh, there I don't see Powell speaking. So that's always a great uh, thing. Friday we have some, uh, we have Loretta Mester sp is speaking Friday, uh, 9 a.m., 30 minutes before market. But this is the schedule. We have some earnings here. Uh, nothing that I'm really interested in, but there are like three stocks here that I would take a look at. And I know you guys uh, are degenerate. So the first thing you guys see automatically is the red and black. Uh, lettering here from GameStop here. I know you guys are so into that. Uh, I actually can't wait to see what happens there because we've had a quick run the past week uh, and AMC has been up there too. So we'll see. Affirm uh, reports Thursday. Uh, that stock was up 40% one day with their collab with uh, Amazon. So that's going to be an interesting one. So GameStop and Affirm are like the only ones that I'm personally looking at. Kroger, you guys might be looking at it on Friday. It's before the open. Uh, a clear picture will be on Trade Like Nor. It's only because the pictures uh, stretch. So let's go ahead and talk about charts. Last week, I gave you so many bangers. Oh, first thing I'm going to talk about is Amazon. I gave you guys this. Look, look at this. I gave you guys the gap fill. Just go back to, to my video and just watch it. That I would do that. So I looked at, I told you guys about the gap fill. In two days, we were up 200 points. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, this thing was kind of flat. I'm just going to give you the best plays last from last week. So Roku was a big one. Uh, I talked about the 350 uh, support line. We broke 350, and guess where we ended up? All the way down to 330. That's a 20-point move. We'll talk about that more this week. Uh, Shopify, I gave you the 1560 break for a scalp. We ended up hitting 1588, which is pretty crazy. Facebook, I talked about the ATH. We broke through that, and look where we ended up, 384. Uh, BBIG, I talked about the $10 break. It hit a high of $11.90. That's almost $2. It's actually $2, uh, and that's insane uh, for you know a stock that's 10 bucks. So as far as uh, as far as uh, BBIG, that's probably done for now. I won't be looking at it. That was just something that was quick that I was looking at last week. Uh, UPST was another big one. I talked about the 225 break. I hit a high of 254. Google ATH break. Look at this one. Uh, all the way up to 29.25. And then Moderna on the four hour. We're still working on it, but we ended up pushing through on the Friday from what, like 400 all the way up to 416. But that was a $19 move on Friday. Uh, so there was a whole bunch of plays last week that you guys could have caught. So the first stock I'm going to look at or talk about this week with you guys is Amazon. So 
first thing here is we did have a crazy gap fill the one that i was talking about look you guys can see we, we created a crazy gap fill we got like 80 percent of it done uh now we had a pullback which can be considered a bull flag because obviously we don't want to go straight up it'll be unhealthy and very uh hard to read the chart now we have a downtrend on the four hour we're bull flagging here and then next thing we need to be looking at is this 3500 3507 area if we can get past that we can fill the remaining of this gap around 3579 so that's amazon you guys can see this downtrend if you didn't see it before and then the second thing i'm looking at that's a pretty big uh stock that we haven't really had fun with for the last two three months because it's been you know kind of terrible compared to previous uh months so and uh tesla you guys can see we're breaking this 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 trend here it's an uptrend but there's a there's a trap on the top so what we're doing here is we're consolidating right if you look on the consolidation chart which is the four hour right here i can even throw this on a one hour uh there is an uptrend forget about that you can just draw a square right here consolidation if we get through the 740 one more time and we pass through 742 we're easily going to see 750 maybe 755 that same day so tesla is going to be something that i'm all over uh this week and then from there uh, I'll be looking to see if we can get past this trend or if it's going to serve as a rejection for But Tesla is something that I'll definitely be watching this week, uh, especially for this consolidation this past four days. And uh, this is something that likes to break out uh, pretty big when it ends up happening. Roku is something that I gave you guys last week that was pretty insane from that 350 break down to 330. Uh, it ended up on the four hour closing their candles above that 336 mark, which is support. Uh, if this ends up coming to retest that 331 level, that low it made, I believe, Friday, uh, I will be looking at that 330 level. And then from 330, this has so much more room down to 320, 311 area. I don't think that can happen in one day. But with Roku, anything can happen. So uh, I'll definitely be looking at 320 as my first target. And from there, I'll be watching to see if this is going to you know, gap further that day or is it going to take a couple days to happen. But Roku is another one that I'm watching to the downside here. Uh, and it might be the only one on this list that I'm watching to the downside. Uh, so next one is Moderna. I'll put this on the one year to make this as easy as possible. As you can see, we had a pullback from the high consolidation, almost an ascending triangle here. You can actually draw an uptrend flat top here. I'm watching this 420 break. If we can get this 420 break on Moderna with volume, this is going to be another runner and it'll probably return back to that 450, 497 level. Moderna can move when it wants, but first thing i'm watching is this breakout right here look at this this candle breaking this flat top first candle closing above this area uh 415 actually and now the 420 is going to be important if we can get past 420 i got 427 on my list and 430 after 430 this should be a smooth ride to 450. now uh the next thing on my list is snow uh i like this when this moves and it's not moving these contracts are super terrible uh so one thing here on the one hour we have this uptrend we also have an uptrend on the top side we did have a flat top we kind of broke it on friday now i'm watching 310 we tested this twice if we can get past 310 this is going to be a runner here up to 315 snow can move and i've seen this move over ten dollars in one day before and it's done it multiple times so 310 on snow is that level i'm watching if we can get past that we're going to get a run on snow uh netflix is another one this is all-time highs for netflix uh, and this looks like it's finally getting out of this zone that it's been in for the last two, three years. If you put this in the last three years right here, you can see since we'll say July of 2020, it's been in the same range, right? So I'm watching this 598 level. If we get past that, uh, I'm watching 600, obviously. And then if we break that with some volume, we can get a nice squeeze up to 614, 615. As you can see, we have a trend from the upside. We want to pay attention to that because that'll be important. Now, UPST is something that's been on a run nobody really understands it but you need to put this on a bigger time frame to understand this one hour chart you guys get you guys can see we had a rejection here in 2021 another rejection right here another rejection another rejection and we finally broke this and we're squeezing now it's very simple a lot of people are just trying to short this at any time uh, i've been seeing people trying to short this since 220 we're now at 254 uh and we may not be done i would say if you're looking to short this you might want to wait for another run above 260 but I'm not looking to short this. I'm looking to play this again to the upside if we can get past this 255 because, you know, we're at all-time highs. UPST is a very uh, easy stock to squeeze during the day. We were up 3% on Friday, uh, and these contracts move very well. 
uh, for a stock that's $240, $250. So UPST is another one that I'm watching. Uh, the next thing that I'm watching is NVIDIA. NVIDIA's all-time high is 230.43. This retested 230. It was a couple cents off, about 14 cents off on Friday. Uh, and I'm watching this. If we can get past 230, this is going to be another squeezable stock. I like playing these. These contracts have li uh, liquidity uh, during the week. So I will be watching this 230 break. If we can break 230 on the four hour, this has room up to 236, which is enough or plenty of room for me. Uh, that's all I'll need. I'll probably sell on the 235 break. Uh, I got to look at the contracts and see how much they're going to pay, but it doesn't matter. It's about the play. So I'm watching this 2.30 break. If we can get past that, I will be watching 2.35 as my first target. And I'll probably be done with it because, look, you can see the rejections on the video are pretty serious. So I don't want to get caught on it. The last thing that I probably won't be playing, but I've seen a lot of people comment on my Twitter and Instagram is DocuSign. This was, uh, this hit all-time highs on Friday. I think it was like one cent off, six cents off on Friday. So if you put this on the four hour, you guys can see we basically touched the all-time high on Friday. Uh, and reject it. So we can either break through this tomorrow. I'm uh, sorry, Tuesday. By the way, Monday is off. It's Labor Day uh, weekend here. Tuesday, we can either come back and retest this or we can just create a cup and handle. But on the one hour, we have room from 314.76 up to 320. So it's a $5 move. Docu is hard for me because I like buying a lot of contracts. So if I end up buying 200 contracts, it's, it's just annoying trying to sell these because I can't sell them one shot. Uh, I got to scale out of them, and if the move is not cleaning en uh, clean enough, uh, even if it was a clean move up, it's going to be hard for me to get out these. So it depends how I feel about DocU and what other setups I have during that day, but this is just something for you guys if you guys are, are playing. So that was the last thing on this watch list, but you should know where the market is right now. NQ NASDAQ is at all-time highs. The high is 15699 If you put this on the one year or even the four hour, you guys can see we have an uptrend here. And we're just consolidating so now you can see we have this consolidation like we do on tesla so if this can break out with tesla tesla should have another like 10 15 dollar day uh and then from there we'll see what tesla is all about but for nasdaq we're just consolidating on this trend that we're breaking here uh and if we can get through this 15,700 level we might have another squeeze here uh so Consolidations can end up being a breakdown, which is to the downside or a breakout. So we'll really find out this week what, what's going to happen. We don't want to guess here. So in the meantime, just know we have a consolidation on ES and NASDAQ, which can result in a breakout to the upside or to the downside. It doesn't necessarily have to be one side here. So these are all the stocks that I'm watching this week. Uh, and as far as the market, it looks like we're in a healthy consolidation. Most likely we're going to break to the upside, but just know that we can end up breaking to the downside, especially with these wicks from the downside. It looks like we're going to be breaking to the upside. Watch that 15,700 level. Uh, maybe for the people that like grabbing some leap contracts or some long-term contracts, NASDAQ or QQQ might not be the uh, worst spot to head to if you're looking to swing. So these are all the stocks. The vlog goes up tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys. Peace.